Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Instagram Reels settings within DaVinci Resolve 18. Let's jump in. Okay, so within DaVinci Resolve, one of the first things you wanna do is change your timeline settings right off the bat. So we're gonna come into DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna to go to File, Project Settings, and within here we're gonna change our timeline resolution to a custom 1080 by 1920, and then your timeline frame rate can be anything up to 30 frames a second maximum. Once you change those, everything else will change. Just make sure you click save. The next settings we wanna change are our export settings. So in the delivery window, which is the little rocket ship icon, I love that, I think it's a real nice addition. When you go in there, what you wanna do is go to a custom export and start customizing these settings. Your format, you want MP4, that is the best recommended for Instagram. Your codec, now they recommend on Adobe's site H.264, but other places also recommend H.265. I've been using H.265 as well and I've had no problems. So I would recommend H.265. Uh, your encoder, you'll be wanting to use the NVIDIA encoder or AMD encoder, whatever GPU encoder you have. If you've got DaVinci Resolve 18 Studio, and you have a dedicated GPU in your system. Otherwise, you want to leave it as native, which just means it's going to use your CPU instead of any GPU where needed. The next one's quite a key one, your resolution. Change it to custom 1080 by 1920. Change the frame rate to match whatever you set your timeline to. This should be the same by standard, but just in case it's not, double check that. And then your quality, you will want to change your quality settings from automatic to restrict to 3500, which is in kilobits a second, which basically means you're doing the compression within DaVinci Resolve rather than letting Instagram use its crappy compression algorithm afterwards. It does make a difference. It's the same on any social media platform. If you are exporting for social media, 3500 is all you need, unless it's, I don't know, an odd social media most people haven't heard of that's using super high bit rates, for instance. And then once you've done that, that is literally all you needed to do to customize DaVinci Resolve settings so that you can create Instagram Reels simply and effectively. If you did like this video, don't forget to like, comment, get subscribed for more tips. I've got plenty more on the way. And until the next one, see ya.